Valentine AI Preset Suite comes with two desktop presets and two mobile presets in both standard and AI versions, as well as two AI background tools, Gold Sunshine and Rose Mosaic, and one FX tool, Love Haze. We usually sell it for 49 US dollars, but it's included as a free gift in any purchase made during our Valentine's Day sale, which usually runs the entire month of February. If you like the look of Valentine AI Preset Suite and want to get it for free, we recommend buying our most popular product, which is our best-selling Seasons Presets, which are now empowered by AI Adaptive Technology. Three new packs of 200 plus smart, adaptive, intuitive AI presets and tools. Seasons AI Desktop, Seasons AI Mobile, and Seasons AI Toolkit. We offer bundled discounts and are always keeping Seasons AI presets up to date with the latest in Adobe technology, making them the perfect tools for any photographer. If you miss out on our Valentine sale, we do sell Valentine AI preset suite year round, and you can use the code YouTube for $10 off. As these are AI presets, make sure your Lightroom is up to date as they won't work on older versions of Lightroom. In this video, I'll show you how to install and use Valentine AI presets and tools on both your desktop and mobile photos, including how to adjust the AI tools and even make your own variations of them. Installing Valentine AI preset suite is super easy. Just make sure that your Lightroom is updated to the latest version because this preset suite includes AI intelligent masking and all of that good stuff. And they won't work for you if you don't have um, an updated version of Lightroom. The Valentine AI preset suite is designed for desktop and mobile, however, you have to have a, an Adobe Lightroom subscription because we're going to be installing on the desktop version of Lightroom and then syncing over to your mobile if you'd like to use the mobile version. On your computer, you'll open up to your customer download page. The Valentine AI presets will download as a zipped file and you can unzip it if you would like to, to have a look inside, but you can actually keep it zipped because when you're in Lightroom Classic, I'll start with Lightroom Classic, uh, you go over to presets, hit this button here, import presets. You can actually just click the zip file like this. And when you click import, aha, uh -huh, magic, they're all there. Now, same thing in um, Lightroom, you can go over to presets. When you import the presets, you again can just click the zip file. If you just want the mobile versions on your phone, you can just click these two. You can also include the AI masking tools and the Valentine FX Love Haze tool because those will also work on your mobile photos and you can leave these out. But I usually just do the easiest thing, which is just to import everything. Um, and then that will sync across to your mobile phone in a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection. Okay, now they're installed, I'm going to give you a little tour of what's inside. So we have the, a standard desktop version, an AI desktop version, a mobile version, standard, and an AI mobile version. Then we have two AI background tools which are through the masking and an effect tool which is called Love Haze. Like always, before you add a preset, make sure you are happy with the exposure and the white balance. The standard version will work no matter what Lightroom you have, but the AI masking will only work if you have the latest version of Lightroom, so make sure that you're up to date with that. What the AI is doing is adding certain masks to the image, so if you go over here and open up, you can see these masking tools have affected the entire subject, the background, um, the subject's skin, lips, and Maddie isn't smiling in this, so um, it's not affecting their teeth, but it would affect the teeth if your subject is smiling. Any of these masking tools can be turned off. Say, for example, if you don't like the effect on the lips because they're becoming too pink or something, um, or you actually might really like it and you might wanna increase it, so you would click the masking tool and here you can see an amount slider and we can turn it all the way up, all the way down. I'll zoom in so you can see. That's at 200 and that's at zero. If you have multiple subjects in your photo, like this one, for example, the AI masking will automatically pick up on each subject. Well, hopefully it should. Um, the technology is really good lately, so usually it does. Um, so you can actually see in this one, it has done really well at picking up on the subject's skin and not actually masking their teeth. 
if you do find that the masking is incorrect, you can always uh, toggle off the masking by clicking this eye symbol here or simply deleting it. Or you can add or subtract from the mask using, I find it easiest to use a brush tool. So you might go subtract, hit the brush, adjust the size of it and you might for well this one is quite accurate but for example imagine if this arm wasn't an arm but was a balloon you could remove the mask from the balloon but it did a really good job and did in fact accurately pick up the subject here with valentine desktop ai there is an inbuilt background already it's just a simple enhance um, if you go into the effect slider, you can see it's increasing the saturation and just making it a little bit more subtle um, and it lowers the texture a little bit. So you can intensify that if you would like or completely remove it. One thing that can be helpful to note with portraits is by selecting the background, you can actually lower the exposure and the contrast to really emphasize the subject here. So if we look at it before and after, not only is it you know, bringing this beautiful um, coloring to the background, it's really showing, like it's bringing the focus to the subject themselves. So that's just a little tip for you. Okay, let's talk about these fun AI tools. So I've included Gold Sunshine and Rose Mosaic. Now both of these are AI powered, which means they are using um, intelligent AI tech to guess where the subject is and actually put it in background. So if I add gold sunshine to this image, I'm going to go in and show you the mask. So this mask isn't one mask, it's many masks. So this isn't a movable background, it just is what it is and goes where it goes. So uh, every single masking tool that makes up the AI background of gold sunshine has the subject removed. This one is pretty easy to show you. See how that mask is actually behind the subject's face. So any uh, image that you add the gold sunshine background to, it will put in that sunshine effect, but behind the subjects. If I add it on this one, it actually looks more like a light leak than anything, which is pretty cool. I think I'll do rose mosaic for this one. So I'm going to add rose mosaic in and again, it's going to go behind the subjects. So this is just one mask, um, but it has many parts to it, but see how it's taking up everything uh, behind the subjects. And again, you can increase the amount or decrease the amount. I actually love this one. I think it's so pretty for certain images and I'm just gonna crank it all the way up on this one because I love how warm toned it makes everything. If I go into um, this portrait here and add it, I already have the gold sunshine added. Now, I don't actually like the way it has made the background um, kind of orangey when I want to retain the fact that it was nice and blue and clear so what I can do is I can go into this rose mosaic I can turn it down or turn it up but you can see that I can adjust the color here so I have chosen this rosy color because it's a Valentine's preset but if you would like you can take that same effect but just change the tone of it so we might go over here and make it just the subtlest blue like that which is lovely or the subtlest green like that and I, I think that that looks really nice. So it's still a mosaic effect, but I have changed it from rose tone to a green tone. So that's kind of fun. Um, let's say you really love that and you're like, oh my gosh, I want a green toned mosaic. Um, what you would do is basically uh, like rename it. So you would just change it to Emerald or something like that. And then go up to develop, new preset, um, and then you just, so you check none and you just add that background so you can add it into the folder itself if you would like to. Um, so mine's just here, I'm gonna create and there it is. And so if we take it to a different one, I don't think it'll look very nice, but um, like for example, in this one, I can hover over it and you can see it's actually just um, counteracting the rose that's already in there. That's really fun um, way to take the uh, this gorgeous sort of mosaic background and turn it into a color that you like. Now for the last one, Love Haze. I actually love this one so much. Um, it's sort of inspired by like a tilt shift lens. Um, this one is movable. So 
what's a good this is probably a really good example to put it on so i'm gonna add it now love haze is comprised of four like radial filters and they're all movable so you can see there's one two three and four now the reason they're like i call them movable is because they're like so easy to move i feel like anyone could move them if you have a basic understanding of um, masking tools in Lightroom and they need to be movable because sometimes you uh, sometimes that might affect the subject in a way that you don't want and they just look way way too glowy um, this one actually works well here I'm gonna add it but imagine like for example your subject is right on the side of the frame see how that doesn't look very good so if that is happening just go into masking and you can move it yourself away i tried to make it uh, and i tested on a variety of images um in different framing and compositions and it usually works uh, i think in this one it might come a little bit close to her face um yeah i think let's see i think this one could be moved a little bit because see how it was getting that side of her face there we really want to make sure it doesn't hit on the subject's face. Um, but this one could probably be made a bit larger. It's just giving that like really gorgeous glow of a love haze. Uh, that actually works on mobile as well. So let's go across to mobile. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use it in Lightroom Mobile. The uh, preset should have synced across to your phone already so here they all are now not all of them are going to work on every image so in this image for example the standard uh, mobile preset will work but if i click ai it says no masks could be found and that's because it's having a hard time picking up on all of those um, subjects so what i would do instead is just paste the standard preset um, and then you can actually still use these background tools because that's only uh, it, Lightroom should be able to pick up on that so I can show you here gold sunshine rose mosaic and then this effect isn't AI powered so it will work on any image and this is that haze on the outside this is movable so um, I'm gonna actually go in and show you how it hasn't affected them but I'll show you where they are so there's here in the bottom left top right top left bottom left um, so you might want to increase the size of it here. For example, move it out of the way here. So that's a, that, that one's really simple and it has this amazing glow around it. You can layer the mask. So I just chose Love Haze and now I'm going to also add, uh, I'm gonna add Gold Sunshine, but I'm gonna just add a little bit to the top right. I click yes and then I do it again. Like you've got to sort of layer it um, one at a time and then the rose mosaic background i'm just going to do a tiny little bit of that and so that's <laughs> that's a real hazy look there but it's kind of pretty and i really like how it hasn't affected any of the, the subject's faces it's just a cool vibe i like it here is a selfie because i know all of you take selfies and that's pretty much all you're going to use these mobile presets on let's be honest um super important to adjust the temperature and tint of your image um, first just to make sure and, and the exposure too like if it was um, underexposed or overexposed it's always best to do that before applying the preset because then you'll get like a more accurate um, example so I'm gonna click AI and this time it has guessed uh, where my eyes are and where my teeth are. So I'm going to show you each one. I think it, it's a bit too intense on my eyes So I'll show you where they are. So this is masking. So you can see that's my teeth. That's my skin That's my lips my eyeballs and the whites of my eyes, which I feel are Way too strong. So I actually could just delete that um, Which I probably would because it's just so intense, but I can go into the settings of it and just like lower the exposure and then um, I might actually go into the irises too because it's just so intense and lower the saturation of them um, I'll show you the uh, AI tools so here's gold sunshine which is in the top right and that doesn't really work very well in this image because there's no sky or anything in the top right that would be like sunshine leaking in but I do love the rose mosaic 
and how it warms up the image. And then let's have a look at Love Haze. Okay, let's lower this and then I might just move the mask around a little bit, especially this one on the top left. Because I don't want it to look... Um, I don't want it to take away from the sharpness of my face. Uh, and then I think what's happened is the leaves don't look green enough now. But that's it. Super cute, super pretty. These presets are really easy to use. I hope you have so much fun with them on your selfies, on your shoots, whatever you use them for. I'm so glad that we could give them to you and have so much fun with them. Happy AI editing.